Hey guys, it's Pete Tansley here from PeteTansleyFitness.com and today I want to talk about supplements. So the question was asked, Pete, what supplements do I need to burn the fat that I want to burn between now and Christmas, which you know is about three or four months away. So here's the thing with supplements to firstly consider that supplements are in fact the icing on the cake. Unless you have a massive deficiency in something, and we'll take those regardless, supplements are the last piece of the puzzle. You need to be worried about sleep. You need to be worried about working really hard during your sessions. You need to worry about being consistent before you worry about adding, you know, supplements on board. Okay, and supplements are a pretty controversial topic these days. Some people think you need dozens of them. Others think they're all pseudoscience and overrated. But either way, you have to make sure the foundations are met before you start to add the supplements on top, okay? So as long as you have those things in place, the training, a really consistent diet that fits your lifestyle, plus sleep and relaxation and water, all those lifestyle things, there's no point adding supplements. They're not the silver bullet or the magic pill that's gonna cure everything. So let's talk about supplements. Once those things are in place, it will actually help you with your goals and they're based on science and and a proven to work, okay? Because there are a lot of supplements out there which will not work like a lot of fat burners and, and these magic metabolism drinks which which magically increase your fat burning overnight. If it sounds too good to be true, then they probably are. So, I've created a very advanced model to look at which supplements you need. And here it is. It's called Pete's Hierarchy of Supplements. So, we've got three levels here on the pyramid. By the way, down below this video, I'll put a downloadable version of this, maybe a little bit neater than this one, uh, so you can see for yourself. And I'll, I'll include maybe what dosage and some good brands of each one to, to pick up. So, if we look at level one down here on, on the bottom layer of the pyramid here, this is copyright by the way. If we look at level one, magnesium is definitely in the, in the level one or the band one of supplements. So magnesium helps with a ton of things. It helps relax the central nervous system, so it's going to help you sleep. It controls migraines, period pain, sugar cravings. It helps the ATP or the energy cycle. It is a, the first the first one I'll start with. Moving along to fish oils. Fish oils uh, or, or omega-3s, basically your brain's made up of omega cells, sort of brain food. It also helps control your insulin sensitivity. So if your goal is to drop body fat or put on muscle, or tone, or a combination of those, you need to have really good insulin sensitivity, okay? And fish oils or omegas will definitely help with that. A lot of studies or debate over krill oil versus fish oil, I definitely still recommend fish oil on level one. Going down to a probiotic now, this is really good for your immune system and for gut health, as is the digestive enzyme. So those two are, I guess, closely related. They help your immune system, your gut, and your digestion. Remember, it's not what you eat, but it's more so what you absorb. So if your absorption isn't great, then you just just got expensive urine because you're eating this great food, but it's just going straight through. You're not absorbing the minerals and the nutrients that you need. And lastly, to round out level one, is vitamin D3. Okay. Even here, I'm, I'm in Queensland, Australia. Even here, people are very deficient in vitamin D3. So D3 will help with a ton of things, again, from your immune system to bone health, a host of, of issues and disease prevention. Always choose a quality supplement, okay? But vitamin D3 definitely, I saw in a, a, a chemist the other day, I think you pick up, you know, a six-month supply for $10 or something insane. Generally, you get what you pay for, so make sure you're in, you invest in quality brands of these. Moving on to level two, so only once those first habits are established with diet, training, lifestyle, and you've got level one, if you want to go up in your performance or in your, you know, in your progress, you move up to level two. So zinc has been known as the male mineral for a long, long time, but even females can benefit from zinc. Again, another great immune supporter. Most people are deficient in zinc, especially if you strength train, okay? You need to be supplementing with a quality of zinc. Creatine, mostly for the guys, but creatine is one of the most tested supplements and it stands up to to science every single time. It works. People are worried about water cramping or it being false weight, just just water weight. Trust me, this definitely, definitely works. Creatine supplementation. A multivitamin I put on level two, not level one. I think the level one in high quantities give you more bang for your buck. 
For example, the magnesium contained in a multivitamin is very, very low. So you're better off just going straight to the source. But a multi can cover some bases there. And to round out level two, we have AL-carnitine. That stands for acetyl L-carnitine. Make sure you get the acetyl blend of L-carnitine. So L-carnitine definitely isn't new. Uh, it's been around for a long time. Another one that's been tested a lot on everything from brains, from focus to fat loss, and it definitely holds up. I have quite a lot of this. I have about two, 2.5 grams of a morning and again, pre-workout. It definitely helps me focus. Uh, I feel great on it. I, I feel just more clarity, um, which, which is proven by the fact that it, the acetyl will, will inc increase blood flow to the brain. Try pre-workout, okay? Try with a black coffee before you work out. So the caffeine will give you the, the, the benefits and, and the mental edge. Combined with the acetyl l carnitine, it's a really super pre-workout. It's pretty natural compared to the more artificial sweetened ones out there. And lastly, level three. So this is really for the high performance client who wants to get fantastic results. And budget's not an issue. They've got the other things, all their ducks in a row, and they're moving up to the top of this. So for the females, we look at some kind of, if they need it, especially if you store a fair bit of fat in your lower body, we look at something like DIM or calcium L-glutarate, which has been shown to decrease or help to flush out body fat in the lower body. A greens drink, such as spirulina or wheatgrass, or even a green smoothie every day if you want to make one at home. Activated B vitamins. What the activated means is they're almost broken down one more level, so when you take them, they're easily absorbed, okay? This would be level one if you've had any fatigue, chronic fatigue, or anything like that happen in your life. This would be a level one supplement for you. The last two, branch chain amino acids, BCAAs. This is the drink you drink during your workout. Now, again, I would move this down a run or two if you work out first thing in the morning without eating. So include that on level one. Otherwise, you sip this during your workout. And lastly, L-glutamine, another great one for your immune system, your gut support, and to keep your body you know, really strong, especially through winter and if you're working out a lot. So there you have it. My patented pyramid of supplements. Uh, I will include a link to a better looking, looking version of this exact document down below. So click the link. Please share this with your friends and like me on Facebook and subscribe to this channel. I'll chat to you soon. Thanks so much.